Oh, there she is. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Okay. Are you you want to take these films from me? What can I do for you? There we go. Miku, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Thanks. I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. <laughs> I know it's the middle of the night. Here's some photographs. Figure it Understood. out. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Uh. Strange interaction, that. But, uh. It works, so. Okay. Now. We can go to sleep. So interesting. So she can she can show up in in a couple of places in the living room. Cause usually she's over there near the phone. Oh boy. Okay. So that was a little room that we could see through the little block in. It also seemed like there were three people, or three little girls that were around there. Oh, we're waking up here. Okay, so they're starting to do the thing where, instead of starting at the beginning and running, and starting at the beginning and running... I can't pull out my camera, so I couldn't do that. Oh, we're already at hour three. Subduing so song. So I'm curious... Okay, so we have 30 film, 50 film, so it does... It does reset our film. What about our tools? Okay, wait. We had two sacred waters. Now we have three, or two purple medicines. Now we have three and one sacred water. Um, I don't want to go that way just yet. I want to explore. There's a hole over here. Uh, there's also, like, a bundle. Okay, can we go out? We can't. Okay. Someone behind this crime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm curious what she's sorry about. Can we get another sacred water out of here? No. back down the stairs. I know we can't get too much further. Um, but I want to see if an item respawned at the grating here. Looks like something did, yeah. Herbal medicine. Okay, good. I just wanted to check that, because it looks like anywhere that an item spawns has a chance to respawn. Um... I know we're backtracking a lot, we probably don't need to, but... Is that a door right there? Must be upstairs.
Yep. There she is. Dad is dead. Okay. So that's that's a new that's a new development because that's the I think that's the little girl that's with the mom who's looking for her husband. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to see if there's an item. Okay, our our thing just popped up. What am I looking at? Image of something caught in the photo. Okay. Interesting. But, uh... Okay. Yeah, because we still don't know much about the mother and daughter. Just gonna go in here and double check. Make sure. I right, know there's something here. So I think anything that requires like some sort of like pushing or pulling or whatever, we're gonna need a different character for. But we're already in like hour three and we haven't even met another character. Unless the idea is that it's three separate playthroughs, which is would be very strange. It's like we could do this with uh, Ray, and then we would do it with like Miku, and then we would do it with whoever. I guess um, it would be you as the last one. So maybe that's maybe that's what the three characters are. Is they'll have access to areas that. The, the each character doesn't and that will give them a little piece of the story interesting because like the only the only place that we've been introduced to that I think we could we have a character for would be Miku to fit in the stairs because there's that little thing but how do we get her to the dream world right like how do we get her to the manner of dreams that's that's the interesting part okay before we go through that door, I need to run to the restroom again. I will be right back. Okie dokie. So, uh, I had my headphones on, and I don't know if you guys can hear it. I think you can. There's a little girl counting to ten in the audio for the menu, which is, uh, a little creepy, gotta say. All right. There's a ball. Can we interact with the ball? Nope, but it has a huge hitbox for some reason. All right, we're going to, like I said, we're going to retread some ground to see if we can get um, some more items and stuff. That they really did not need to add that weird feedback noise. Okay. Something going on there. I don't think we can go in here. So that's the second time we've heard that body speak. Or at least the around that body. Again, I don't know why she doesn't just move this. It doesn't even look that like it's that hard to move. 
but okay so nothing on this area Which means now we need to go down here We can save here. Okay. So hours three. I'm not sure how many hours there are. The last game had like seven or eight, I think. They weren't hours, they were night, but... I wonder if there's film to be gathered here. Yeah, it looks like this just respawns. So. Won't you help me find him? No, you don't. Don't try to escape. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so now we can follow the through line of the mother looking for her husband. Interesting. I was wondering if we were going to get that. But what, what's strange is the mother says, won't you help me find him? But the daughter says that he's dead. So how does the daughter know, but the mother not know? Also, I'm curious, can we leave and wake up at any time? Looks like you can go outside, you want to go outside. No, okay. So it looks like you can leave... Um... To, like, wake up? Huh. So that I'm guessing that's if you're like, oh, I'm low on health items, or I messed this night up, or something like that, you could, uh... It's my child's fault. Okay, so she did figure it out. But why is it the child's fault? Interesting. Camera. Capabilities. Max value. Hmm. That's interesting. So... So something happened with the daughter. So I'm guessing she's back here. Oh, she no, she's probably upstairs now. Think about it. Okay, this will be herbal medicine. There was something. Still can't go through there. So I'm guessing she's up here. she is. Oh. Had it for a second. Okay, it looks like it's higher up. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Daddy 
Daddy fell. Okay. Old scrap of paper left behind where the child's ghost was. Mommy, sorry. Daddy was trying to get my ball and fell. It was scary. So he... Is he what we saw on the roof, maybe? This is a digress to her mother. I say there's something coming after us now. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hit her in the back of the head with the camera shot. Hit her with a double. Okay, where's she at? Sounds like she's over there. Turn red, which is a shutter chance, but it's not. I killed Daddy. Wait, what? I'm just gonna hit her with that. She said I killed. Said she said you killed Daddy. Unless she means you, as in uh, the fiance who died. Which again is a very unfortunate name for that character to have. Now every time someone references you, is it is it like you as in you, or you as in the dead fiance? <laughs> Okay. Eventually we're going to open this, I think. Some of the doors seem to be locked. I can't open them. I'm guessing we're going to be opening that at uh, some point. So I don't have the key for that. I'm trying to see if we can open this door. Because this one's that it's held by a strong force, strong power. Okay. So it looks like we took a side trip, unless that was necessary for whatever was in the hallway where we saw you going. Interesting, okay. Filament and health to show up, which means there's probably someone in here. Oh, yeah, we need to look at Miku. Works as my assistant. She's the sister of Yu's best friend, which we know is Mafuyu. Uh, I heard she lost a relative. The photo on her desk showed her with a young man who looked like her brother. She's always been a cheerful person, but I haven't seen her smile as happily as in that picture. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic there. Uh, all right. Wonder if the person she lost was someone she was very close to. Maybe she lost someone special, just like me. Disappearances. According to Miku's research, uh, Yoshino was asleep almost all the time before she disappeared. After the accident, she slept longer and longer hours. Whenever she woke up, she would hump what sounded like a lullaby. Apparently, the medical beauty is a buzz with rumors of similar occurrences. Patients who disappear. It's another of those urban legends. Okay. Why, why, why do we got fighting stuff up? Who are we fighting? Give the child back. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. My bad. She attacked me first. There again? No. Man, that fatal frame, double fatal frame, is a little hard. Oh, 
Right in the mouth. Oh. The two hit combo and the kill gave us another thing to develop. I think she said it's not the kid's fault. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, apparently Mommy Dearest was, uh... <laughs> was upset with her... her daughter being... getting the, the good old shutter treatment. Okay. So we're definitely gonna save here. You know what's interesting is, so far... Um, we've had, we've had the ghosts, like, be in the walls, and we've had ghosts kind of, like, teleport around a little bit. But, again, the, the difference is, and they did learn this from two, like, when they teleport, like, when we, when we, uh, Fatal Frame, they'll teleport, like, over, like, away from us, but it, they won't teleport, like, right next to us. Or, in the case of, like, that fight, when she teleported to get in front of us, she went from, like, here to, like, here, right? So it was, it was like, very easy for us to keep her in the shot. Whereas in the first game, my biggest gripe with combat is that they would go here, they would disappear, show up behind you, grab you, take half your health. Right. So it's interesting that they, they it does seem like they took some, some of the, at least so far, some of the fight mechanics from the second game versus the first game. Um, which I like. Uh... I, I much prefer the second game's combat to the first game's combat. Um, but, uh... Is the ball gone? The ball is gone. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see. Now we need to go back down these stairs. So, also they brought the combo system back. Um... One thing that I'm getting from this that is, like, hugely different... Like, there's two major differences between this one and the first two games. And one of the major differences is that we're actually having discussion about, like, mental health stuff. Which wasn't even really referenced in the first two games. Um, and the other thing is, is this feels more like an investigation than just ghost hunting. Like, it's like they, 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 so far they've seemed to have, like, moved away. Now, again, we're not super far into the game, so that, this might change, but it seems like they've moved away, wrong button, uh, from, like, ooh, jump scare, ooh, spooky ghost, being like, why are these ghosts here? What do they want? What are they looking for? You know, let's find out who they are and what happened to them. Like, there's a lot of, like, actual, like, legitimate investigation, like, taking the pictures, figuring out who they are, um, figuring out how they died, and then, you know, how they're connected to the dream world or the manner of dreams, as it's called. Like, it's very, it's very cool. I, I like this so far. Um, a lot of people warned me of this game, but I honestly, I'm not really, unless, unless it gets like really bad near the end, which has happened before. We, we played a few games that are like critically like loved. And then I played them and I'm like, oh, this ending is awful. But, uh, so, unless the ending's terrible, I'm really, I'm really liking this experience. It feels different, and I think that's, that's a good thing. But it still connects to the first two games. It's not like forgetting the formula or anything. Um. Ow. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I should have just ran instead of... Okay, hold on. Turn around. Come here, buddy boy. You wanna take a swing at me again? Get comboed. But... And I, I kind of like that the focus seems to have shifted a bit from just ghost hunting to, like, let's do some, like, legitimate work here. So... Go in here? Wow, it's loading something big. Where are we at? Okay, okay we're gonna get another fight. Maybe.
There's something like here-ish. Oh, is it above us? No. It's definitely in this room. Okay, there's an item over there. Oh, hello. What am I taking a picture of here? Oh, there's a hand or something sticking out there. You can see it now. It's right... No, you can't see it, but... You can kind of see it down there. There's a hand right here. I didn't see that first. I'm like, what am I looking at? It's gonna stay there, I'm guessing. There's an item back over here, though. Where, where did it go? Is it in here? Ah, there we go. Okay, that's the that's the level three film. Okay, explore this first floor. There's an item here, but this also looks like a combat area. More of the level two film. Okay. What are we looking at? This room's pretty large. Okay, it looks like it connects back. We go this way. It connects back to this room? Ah, okay, so now we've opened a shortcut. Wait, was something in there? Usually it only does that, like, film grain effect if there's something to see. I'm guessing we were supposed to use that as a way to get back to all the spots with the little girl and the mother. But we went... We took the long way instead. <laughs> Door shut tight. Feels like something pulling it back from the other side. Okay. Alright, so I think we've circled this area. I think we need to go upstairs now. Okay, what are we looking at here? This looks like a big square room. Something inside the drawer. Ooh, more sacred water. That kind of concerns me, actually. Captain Wall, so you can see through downstairs. Maybe this is where the banister used to go? Oh, can we, like, put a plank or something? Okay. 